Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome to the Road Warrior. Uh, you know, I, I kind of pay attention to people. I kind of, what do, what do you call it? Um, I'm, a, I'm a people watcher. Not only for anthropolo anthropological reasons, societal reasons. Um, I just like to watch people. And I've noticed, mm, last couple of years, not necessarily post-COVID. I even was seeing it, I am probably seeing it in, in 2019 prior to COVID, but I was noticing that people tend to, and, and, and I don't want to use the word manic, um, they have a lot of mood swings. I think the stress of life, the stress of what's going on in our world mounts so heavily, we are easily triggered to be stressed. Does that make sense? I've noticed it at work, and it didn't make sense, you know. Having a good day to start, and then something triggers your day, and somebody who's in a good mood can be in a foul mood. And you try to always gauge around people's moods. You try to play nicely with others, so you're always kind of respectful of people's moods. You know who to avoid and when to avoid them and when their busy parts and busy times are and things like that. Um, and, and even in life, i got a few friends who I know their routines, I know their schedules, so I know when not to bother them when it's something trivial, when it's something that I may care about that they don't, you know, when, when, it, when it's all about me, relatively. Um, and, and I don't know how, how drastic of a change that's been. I, I, we talk a lot about, well, not we, but I mean, in general, society is talking a lot about mental health and, and about how we notice more people who could use help, not seeking help, not getting help, not being diagnosed they need help. And again, I don't necessarily know if the mood swings plays into it. I, you know, Again, it's all relative. But I've just noticed, because I don't call this mental health, but I noticed that, th that we are living in a world where there's a lot more stress. We are living in a world where I see more people who were once consistent in their moods be a little bit moodier. I will be the first to admit I've always been a moody person. I wake up in a mood... Um, if I don't feel good, usually, and usually it's around how I feel, how I physically feel. I try to be as, as calm and as nice as possible. You know, I, I try to level it. I've had my moments where I've not been good at it. But I've always tried to maintain a level balance. And, and I, I really focus on it now. Not that I have to, not that I've, nobody's ever said anything. But it's just something that I've always, as I try to improve on myself, it's something I'm constantly working at. You know what, there's some days I don't want to deal with people, I just want to be left alone to do my work. Luckily, I've got a job where, I, other than a lot of meetings that are all, you know, via Zoom or something like that, I, I don't have a lot of meetings. It's a lot of, you know, content stuff. It's a lot of sitting in front of a computer, a lot of sitting in front of spreadsheets, a lot of number crunch and things like that. So it's okay. But I find it interesting that the stress of our world, I think, is getting to people. And this isn't a political rant. This isn't anything political. I think it's just about where society is now, where people feel they fit in society. Does that make any sense? I think a lot of the, there are a lot of lost people out there. Just my observation. Back next week with another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home to almost 600 of these things. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. Um, again, I don't care where you watch. Love it when you do. Love it when you at least you know acknowledge us with a like, or even you hate it. I don't care. A comment, um, a, a share is great too. And even if you don't share this individual episode, just sharing with a friend that I amuse you in some way. It sometimes makes the body good. Puts me in a good mood. Keeps me even keel. I won't rant. I'm not gonna rant. See you next week. Thanks.